subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. That we inhale 13 lakhs rupees worth of oxygen per day and per tree produces at an average per year 24 crore rupees worth of oxygen. Most recent research published in Nature, trees also share and eat. Trees also share and eat. Here is a big tree and here is a baby tree. The baby tree is hungry. The roots go down, the roots go down and the roots are connected by fungal mycelia, fungus by mycelia. So this small tree is hungry. The big tree gets the signal it is starving. So this fellow sends extra carbon through its roots and feeds the small tree. Feeds the small tree. In the same way, like human beings, if one tree does not like another tree, it can sell toxic substances and kill the tree. So when I cut a tree and when the rain comes, soil splashes. And all this topsoil goes into the sea. Now children, what is this? What is it? Earth. And what is this? For a moment, shall we imagine apple to be the earth? Now what is this? Die. Oh, very good. Now this earth, this earth I am going to cut into four. This earth I am going to cut into four. Follow this very carefully children for you to understand the concept. How many pieces? Die. Officers, there is one in this hand. Three. Three is how much percentage? 70% of earth is roughly covered with yellow raklopani. 25% is land. 25% is land. This land I am going to cut into two. This land I am going to cut into two. One, land not suitable for human inhabitation. Human beings cannot live. Example, polar regions, deserts, Volcanic eruptions. Human beings can live only in this much of earth. Now this I am going to cut into four. This I am going to cut into four. <coughs> Three. Human beings can live. Not suitable for agriculture. 32, 1 out of 32 pieces, 1 out of 32, 3.125% of earth alone is suitable for agriculture. This much. From this I am going to remove the peel. This is the top soil. This is what is giving me food to eat. Nature at an average takes 400 years to develop 1 inch of top soil. Average 400 years to develop one inch of topsoil. I hope you understood the concept. And leaves, when you look at a leaf, the greener the leaf, there is more nitrogen, drier the leaf, more carbon. More carbon. All these organisms are soil biota. Don't understand the details, just have an idea. Just have an idea. All these belong to the soil. Of which two are very important. The earthworms and the termites. The earthworms and the termites. Both do a wonderful job of recycling. We don't like termites because they eat our wood. But in a natural ecosystem, they contribute a lot of significance for the soil ecosystem. And soil must have air in it. Please remember children, this is the composition of a good soil. And in this composition of a good soil, soil must have organic matter which should be 2 to 5 percent. For our climate, soil should have organic matter 2 to 5 percent. The national average today, 0 0.4 percent. National average today is 0 0.4 percent. Have you heard about soil smell? Manvasane? Mitti ki khulbo? Yes or no? Yes or no? The soil have smell or no smell? Yes or no? Absolute no smell. You take soil, dry it in the sun, smell it, no smell. When it rains, yes is it? I must send you back to school then. Teacher told us water is colorless, tasteless and 
odorless water has no smell soil has no smell the soil smell is because of the soil organisms which live in the soil the microorganisms actinomycetes just note it down actinomycetes the smell in the soil is because of actinomycetes these are all organisms which live over there between the pore spaces of the soil these terms are not in your textbooks please remember them you know like soil particles when they come close to each other there will be a gap in between that pore the space around the pore is called as porosphere please note it down the space around the pores is a porosphere children now this appears like a concrete wall can I nail into the concrete wall directly is it possible no what do I do I drill I drill drill means preparing a hole into it the same thing earthworms do in the soil what do they do in the soil they drill in the soil the space around this drill is called as a drillosphere the space of those burrows created by organisms in the soil is called as drillosphere these are all our vegetation types in the western ghats right now as far as earthworms are concerned please understand that india is home for about 505 earthworm species more than 500 more than 500 earthworm species the world has around 3500 earthworm species Yeah, but the problem is they are decreasing this is my own research they are decreasing now I will go into it later but please understand these two concepts for your ecology paper R and K R and K please understand these concepts R multiplies fast produces fast K stable population stable population R for example Parthenium belongs to the R group so it grows everywhere most of the exotic pests which have come into our country belong to the R group that's why they keep multiplying faster they keep multiplying whether it's Parthenium or most of the other varieties even the Lantana all those things some basic concepts I would like to tell you about this human animal conflict which is uh, the thrust area today children tiger for example who was who was our national animal lion was our national animal suddenly he jumped into tiger right when when was it 1972 1972 tiger was named as our national animal in a way it is correct because lion even to just display its valor will attack an animal kill the animal and walk away whereas a tiger will attack and kill only when it is hungry and when it kills it eats it he doesn't just kill and go away it eats it supposing one tiger please follow this concept to understand human animal conflict one tiger eats one deer fully for one week it is quite sufficient for it average so for one week it is not going to kill any other deer now children if it has to eat one deer per week how many deer should be it available to it per year 52 if it has to take 52 deers every year the population should be at least 520 10 times well if there are 520 this fellow can keep taking one one every week if there should be 520 deers available there should be 5200 acres of grassland where the deer will feed unfortunately we take care of the tiger we don't take care of the grassland are you able to get the con concept so where do they go they go in searching into human areas because that is the only place available for them the dogs the other things the cattle the calves which are available and we call it as concrete and this was Chinnathambi I hope you all read about him this is a typical example of uh, animal conflict that is how he was treated yeah right 
these are the reasons and here comes this animal now this animal particularly the cattle we used it as part of our ecosystem we used for plowing we used for various purposes and during plowing and other things we also made use of the cattle dung cake which we call it as varati or upli and also the manure and then the biogas plant came in after the biogas plant came in this fellow came in and we said we don't need you we don't need animals the greatest blunder which happened in the indian agriculture system was to isolate cattle from agriculture so you are, our dependency on chemical fertilizers increased because we moved away the cattle which were providing us with the nutrients i'll go into the details of it as we go further but unfortunately human beings are yet to make a tractor which gives us done yeah. when i use a cattle plow the soil comes up when i use a heavy machine the soil compacts and when soil compacts soil air escapes when soil air escapes soil organisms suffer i hope you are able to understand the chain children right so when compaction happens plant growth gets affected when compaction happens plant growth gets affected and we use so many tons of fertilizers and pesticides in our soil in india per year our national usage per year is almost 2 crore tons of chemical fertilizers and 1 lakh tons of chemical pesticides the government says our production is increasing the government says our production is increasing not just our indian government the entire asian governments i also work with malaysia and other countries and china but the government say that it's increasing but per acre if you calculate after 2000 it started decreasing you go and ask any farmer before 2000 per acre they harvested almost 30 32 bags of paddy today they harvest 25 to 26 bags of paddy fine this is how my farmer takes pesticide this is how he mixes it and this is how he sprays it without any protection without any protection and this completely goes contaminates the ground water contaminates the ground water completely please note down this term again no? neonicotinoids neonicotinoids are the fifth generation pesticides which are used as a coating on seeds fifth generation pesticides the recent ones which are used as a coating on seeds this is a neurotoxic substance it's a neurotoxic substance those of you who have a garden at home your mom doing gardening at home or terrace gardening at home you would see that they, if you buy seeds from the market they would be discolored now these colored seeds are because of this new nicotinoids neurotoxic so please see to it that they they use the seeds they have to wash their hands i am worried about my farmers because my farmer uses bd and then puts about a few seeds again uses the bd so his finger keeps touching his lips now when you go in for policy i don't want to go into the policy matters it's all government matters but these are the problems i face with my farmers so this is what happened to us and we have used so much of chemicals that agriculture in india has become this is what the green revolution told me food waste is increasing food waste is increasing food requirement is increasing hunger index is going up so we talk about food security which is another important topic for you now when we talk about food security what is food security three important components first component availability of food do we have enough available food is production processing soil or water management trade this this is what again has been brought into the goals national goals un goals for this year i think goal number 2 or 3 is uh, food hunger access to it and utilization of it <coughs> I, i'll rush through the broader concept so that when we meet again with nanda kumar probably we'll discuss it in detail again we can interact about it 
want to give you all the information which could be useful for you, right. These are the important concepts, right. This is how my soil looks today. Farmer from Madanapalli near Andhra Pradesh, his beautiful farm, tomatoes, border crop, what flower? Enna Marigold. 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 Someone. Excellent pest repellent. Marigold is an excellent pest repellent. So I congratulated him. I said, why man? There is a temple nearby. They give a lot of money. So I am growing them. So what do you do for tomatoes? He uses endosulfan. Yet to be banned from Tamil Nadu. The funniest policies in our country, children. When you analyze policy writing, please try to understand these concepts. Kerala has banned endosulfan. Kerala has banned endosulfan as toxic. Just across the border, Taini, farmers use endosulfan. Tamil Nadu says endosulfan is food. Kerala says endosulfan is poison. Same country, two states. But it has been proved beyond doubt that it is very, very contagious sort of a pesticide. Very nasty, very corrosive pesticide which completely destroys the hands of my farmers. The impact of this is so high in rural areas that a lot of impact has happened by this pesticide and this is what happened in Kerala, endosulfan. Right? Burning. Today Delhi talks about pollution because of stubble burning, this and that, probably we will discuss it later. But burning has been a tradition in India where stubble or mulch is being burnt. Fair enough, they use the ash. People say ash is good for the soil, but what burns is important. What burns is important. Now these contaminants have started entering the soil systems, dioxins. Dioxins, please remember that word dioxin, D-I-O-X-I-N-S. Dioxin is a resultant product along with furans. When you burn plastics, which contaminate the groundwater by burning here. So what you eat today is nothing but poison in the plate. And you already had the upma. <laughs> Any food you eat today, fruits have calcium carbide for ripening. Ripening of food and serving of food, remember, the ethylene ripeners have come into the market. It's called as a Chinese pudding. We blame China for everything. <laughs> but we use it. We use it. Right? Please remember children, this is how a banana ripens. If you find this color with these spots, that means they have used the Chinese pudding. The yellow banana ripens from one end to another end. If you find the banana dark green on both the ends with the yellow in the middle, they have used the Chinese pudi. Ethylene ripeners. Please remember the term ethylene ripeners or acetylene ripeners in ecology. Again, pesticides. Most of the research is extremely biased. I am talking to you as a researcher and as a former head of the Department of Zoology and Biotechnology. Most of our research is biased, extremely biased, because we take only male animals for experiments. We don't take female animals for experiment. We take male animals for experiment because we don't have a cycle. We don't have a menstrual cycle or a estrous cycle. Because we don't have that cycle, our hormones don't play mischief. So our standard work goes on. Whereas when I take a female specimen, it goes through the estrous cycle. All mammals go through the estrous cycle. So when they go through the estrous cycle, their hormone fluctuations take place. So my results are not common. Remember that. So most of the experiments are based on male specimens, but who will suffer will be the female specimen. Are you able to understand the concept, please? That's the research concept which goes on today. And, and who will suffer would be the females, including the human species. And we expect about 13.2 million people in India to suffer with cancer in the year 2030. I also work with the Cancer Institute, so this is the, this is the thing predicted. Fine. This new glyphosate, please remember these terms, children. Glyphosate. This is what has been included in Monsanto's roundup. 
Now what is Roundup? What is HT? What is HT? Yeah, herbicide tolerant. Very good, young man. Very good. Herbicide tolerant. Herbicide tolerant. Now children, those who are not able to understand herbicide tolerant, let me say that this is a beautiful field of crops. Same crop, right? Now, those with my colored shirt, grey, are weeds, unwanted plants. The one with my sh colored shirt are unwanted plants. For example, I have one here, Does, I can use some names, right? One, two, three, some people over there. We are unwanted in this field. So if I spray this pesticide, only we with the grey will be destroyed, you will not be destroyed. You got my point? You will not be. Such plants are called as HT, herbicide tolerant. Herbicide tolerant. Please remember this. This comes under genetic engineering now. Now these herbicide tolerant plants, especially Monsanto was the one to introduce. Now Monsanto has been purchased by Bayer. Bayer, B-A-Y-E-R. Bayer company has already purchased Monsanto. Now Bayer Monsanto combination sells the seeds so you buy the pesticide also from them. It's a package. It's a multinational package. So this herbicide all is glyphosate. And glyphosate is such a nasty chemical, nasty chemical that when cattle, if it's a pregnant cow, eats the grass on which this has been sprayed, it will come into abortion. It causes abortion. Our women folk also work there. I hope you are able to relate. Right? Now, if that happens, all these components come up. Impact of pesticides on human beings. This I had, I used to see when I was working for Punjab with the farmers over there. But today in Trivan Mayur, I see that in clinics, children using nebulizers. Nebulizers for asthma. These are all the neurological effects caused by them. <coughs> Parkinson's, today almost every household has at least one, page, one family member, related family member suffering with Parkinson's. <coughs> Most of them are this. You may tell me, sir, you are talking about DDT. DDT is banned in India. Last week, Hyderabad government has used DDT in water bodies to control mosquitoes. Government has used. So, it's banned, is banned, but not banned. It's available. Right. This is what happens. I told you about uh, how it causes abortions. In the same way, most of these women who work in greenhouses, they do not know what pesticide is being used by the farm owner. And when they expose themselves, it goes into stillbirths or sterility. All this comes in your policy matters on ecology. These are all the animal carcinogens, cancer causing agents used. Even one of you can take pictures and share among yourselves also. These are all the human carcinogens today used, cancer causing agents. They are all the human culture. <coughs> this is our own cancer institute. Pediatric ward. Adair Cancer Institute. So in the world today, somewhere in the world I can't eat egg. Contaminated with salmonella, note down salmonella. It is one of the nastiest microorganisms which can even kill us. So some part of the world I can't eat egg. I am not threatening you. <laughs> I am trying to share what is happening. At least we have lived towards real achyadin. Not like what you people are going to face. In some part of the world, I can't eat fish because there are heavy metals in it. I am talking about some part of the world, you can't eat fish from Kosatalaya river today. I will show you some slides later. I can't take chicken somewhere in the world because it has bird flu. Ghans pus. We have to eat greens, then it has all the insecticides and herbicides. 
all the best and good luck to you children so on the lighter side a for b for c for d for donuts or dosa we all read this but in future children won't read this they will read a for anemia b for bronchitis c for cancer and d for diabetics now at that situation that's a train which goes every day from batinda in punjab to bikaner in rajasthan carrying not less than at least 100 farmers suffering with cancer and this train is called as the cancer express you can google for cancer express for more information cancer express books are not writing all this nonsense so when you discuss policy please be very clear as to what's happening so what this child is eating and drinking is it safe you imagine you are said to be that child is it safe is it safe on one side we want to play gmo what is gmo genetic modified organisms we call it deliberately as manipulated organisms children when you when i give you a custard apple sita palam and i tell you that you can eat the palam but you must tell me how many seeds were there can you count it or not you can but can you guess how many fruits will be produced by one seed no that is nature you call it nature you call it god that's your concept but that's nature right once upon a time we had farmers seeds today we are moving from diversity to genetic slavery now what is happening in this seed politics if i start looking at seed politics once upon a time in the past western countries looked at us with crocodile tears poor indians i must do something for you i never blame any foreign country i blame my own scientists who wanted to climb the ladder of success with this collaboration we have a very nasty policy indian institute of science bangalore which is also commonly called as the tata institute if you want to go and work in the library you have to take prior permission i had taken prior permission even as a professor and they would allow me to use one of the front library not to go to the archives archives is prevented and protected whereas monsanto was given the keys of the archives you can understand what happens in my country right now future they are going to make us dance like this these companies and how they are going to dance because once you buy them you have to buy them forever once you buy the seeds from them you have to buy it forever because you are not supposed to protect the seeds or cultivate the seeds these are all the signatures which you have made with the government with these co companies what is genetic engineering cut and paste word document the same concept take from one and fix into other this is how we do it you bring the two ends they get stuck and then you paste them and what is the most blessed organism we use is bacillus thuringiensis i hope you are all aware of it or you want me to write it down that is why it's called as bt bacillus thuringiensis bacillus thuringiensis where do you find bacillus thuringiensis venga pa in which soil our chennai soil and tamil nadu soil has bacillus thuringiensis you can multiply bacillus thuringiensis you can spray it no problem but when you slice it and incorporate it as a gene in some other source the whole system changes because one gene one enzyme hypothesis so once you introduce a new gene a new enzyme is produced and the new enzyme is protein and a new protein can cause allergic reactions in several people we are not against technology i am again trying to remind you as a head of the department of biotechnology not against technology but how you use the technology a knife is a technology with a knife you can peel potato you can also kill a person how you apply technology is very important how you apply technology and in this technology what we do is we just take the genes and with the help of restrictor enzymes with the help of restrictor enzymes we identify and slice it down <coughs> that's the restrictor enzyme identify the concepts slice it and then you bring a totally unrelated gene from bacillus thuringiensis and then it sticks on with its sticking ends 
we use a ligase enzyme to bind it up. This new unit is introduced into plasmids and then you multiply them and uh, procure what you want. This is how it is being done. And what does a Bt seed do? Bt seed what it does is any insect which goes and eats on it, there will be a hole in the intestine and the insect will die. That is where my good friend Namarwar asked, how many seeds should I eat to have a hole in my intestine? We do not know because no experiments have been conducted so far. Why, why should we have these sort of things? Because people say that fruits have to be prepared with vaccines. Because vaccination can be given through fruits. That is what the industry says. And human beings say that God or nature did not know how to produce a plant. So I want to produce a new plant. Understand the policies behind it. For us, food is medicine. For us, food is medicine. For a white man, requires medicine in food. We don't require. We have enough, enough medicine through food. Golden rice. In fact, this year's uh, neat question paper, they had asked about golden rice. Now children, tell me, what golden rice was used because they wanted carotene pigment. Because they felt that many youngsters are wearing glasses. So for eyes, you require carotene. So why not we give them through rice? and call it as golden rice. What is the source of this gene? Keratin. Come on. Mm. That is the problem with your textbooks. They are not revised, they are not entered, all this nonsense. Right. I will tell you, Q, it is from an old poem we would have read in schools. William Wordsworth. I wandered lonely as a cloud. Daffodils. Daffodil. The source of the gene is daffodil. They called it as golden rice from USA and source of the gene is daffodil and they said that you have to take this food and if you want one day's vitamin A, each one of you have to eat 12 kilograms of rice per day. Something, la? Bt cotton. Bt cotton. Bt cotton was introduced in our country as non-edible crop. Is it edible or non-edible? Non-edible. Parthi halwa, Trinalveli. So we prepare halwa from the seeds, we prepare milk from the seeds, we have this Parthi pal, we have Parthi halwa. And we call it as non-edible. Is it edible or non-edible? It has already entered our food chain because of our follies. Now they want to bring in Bt Katrika. Bt Brinjal. Bt Brinjal. Yeah, Bt Brinjal. Children, how many varieties of Katrika are there in Tamil Nadu? Sambar Sabadan Dirima. How many varieties? Just guess. 3, 4, 22 varieties in Tamil Nadu today. This is what I want you people to identify, write down, Raja, because books are not giving these things for you. 22 varieties. We have a wonderful institution on behalf of the government of India called as the NBPGRA. What is it? National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources. Please note down. NBPGR. National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources. According to them, we have 4,460 accessions of Brinjal in my country. And we want to buy one company Brinjal. Understand? Now they are going to work with mustard. Mustard. Kadugu. Kadugu. And mustard, they cleverly, please remember these things children, because it has to come in your ecology paper on new seeds and things like that. They introduced it as DMH11, Dhara Mustard Hybrid. Dhara Mustard Hybrid. They did not call it as BT. Very clever fellows. Now what is Barnes Barstar technology? In Barnes Barstar technology, what they do is, mustard is a bisexual flower, self-fertilization. This is the female, this is the male. So the flower self-fertilizes. So they create a genetically modified flower where the male is atrophied, will not grow. And then they made this with another flower. So it is a hybrid of a genetically modified parent. Please understand. 
it is a hy hybrid yes but not normal hybrid of a genetically modified plant that is what is barnes master this is again going to be hd where they want to use glufosinate please children note down this name also glufosinate it is commonly called as basta in india glufosinate <coughs> and if there is a question for you about bacillus thuringiensis please remember this term bacillus amyloliquefaciens bacillus amyloliquefaciens they had used bacillus amyloliquef so he escapes from the term bt i want you to also understand what happens due to market pressure and government pressures on people i hope you know this gentleman professor m s swaminathan publishes a paper in current science december 8th publishes a paper and for the first time i felt so happy that this gentleman said that bt cotton is a failure in india which describes bt cotton as a failure and jacob wrote about the article right pa in fact on the 10th or 11th i was giving a lecture to ias officers i said wisdom has finally dawned on this gentleman but just 14 days just 14 days look at the pressure which comes on this old man who is 94 now he is a good friend of mine so i am using his name 94 now the pressure withdraws his article on december 21st a man of that stature has to withdraw his own commitment you can understand what happens please remember our policies please remember our policies basmati our product our in the sense the entire asian product most of india pakistan and bangladesh we are sharing this but today it is our right right this university of texas carries our germplasm modifies one gene and calls it as texpathy this is what is ecology which you should be clear with texpathy indian government had to file a petition csar filed a petition and finally we won the case you hope you are aware of the gi tags so this is one of the GA tags for us now, right? So what happens? All this can happen and basically it is the unholy marriage between science and market. Unholy marriage between science and market. So what will happen? Biodiversity on one side, biotechnology on one side. Biodiversity will make all the judo karate, hoo-ha, biotechnology, tishum. <laughs> Our country relies on biodiversity. Do we need it? Children, there is a general book which is available. Uh, some of the uh, articles are on open source. Some of the videos are on open source. Just have a look at this. This gives you a good information about all these concepts. Jeffrey M. Smith's uh, Genetic Roulette. This is a good book which gives you most of the things. What happens because of these genetically modified crops? People want to bring in transgenic animals. Transgenic animals. Transgenic means between two different groups altogether. This transgenic. People want to go in for cloning. I hope you know what is cloning. I will not go into the details. So singularity. That is in future a man or a woman can say I don't need a spouse. I can produce a child without a spouse. That is where a somatic cell is taken. You know, germ cells are the semen and the ovum. Whereas soma is body. A somatic cell can be taken, triggered to multiply. So I get a petty version of myself. A smaller version of myself. Right? That is called as cloning. That's where ethics come in. How far ethics are important in ecology. Now in this ethics, if you want to go into genetic engineering, surrogate motherhood created a problem. It is banned in India now recently, but still permission can be taken, but it is very prevalent in the world. Now what are the ethical problems with this surrogate motherhood? A family, for example. Two cases in the US, one case in the Pune. I am quoting those cases. A family of four, mother, father, daughter, son. Daughter marries this guy. Both are normal. Both are normal in the sense both are fertile. 
he produces viable sperms she produces viable ova perfect but her uterus is defective she cannot conceive she produces fertile ova but she cannot conceive so on consultation they find that they can go in for an ivf in vitro fertilization test tube baby now this in vitro has to be put into another woman's womb so that that surrogate mother will give birth to a child fair enough the mother says why somebody i'll be your surrogate so their child she carries when the child is born the question arises whether this girl is the mother or the sister because to science she is the mother to the people she is a sister so these are the ethical problems which started coming up with biotechnology the other one is nanotechnology in ecology nanotechnology is creating a mess already i'll go into those in the later sessions <coughs> another component of uh, ecological systems <coughs> a new hormone in the market recombinant gowain growth hormone rbgh rbgh recombinant bovin growth hormone <coughs> it's a growth hormone so it is also called as a somatotropic hormone somatotropic hormone please understand this concept children you can read any chapter after that somatotropic hormone the problem with this is if you inject you can take all the milk out from the cow no problem maximum milk can be drawn maximum milk can be drawn but in about 2 and 1/2 to 3 years the cow will develop mastitis of the udder madi vyadi mastitis of the udder madi madi vyadi on one side the cow has to be declared unfit after 2 and 1/2 or 3 years but on the other side girl children in rural areas who will drink this milk because in rural area milk is not pasteurized so girl children drinking this milk will attain puberty or maturity at the age of 8 or 9 the entire hormone system will collapse there is no policy for it now understand when you write all these concepts right already things have started visib visibility has started please watch this video seriously very recently because of such hormonal injections a calf is born a calf is born just born calf is giving half a liter of milk har liter varai i hope you are able to understand children i am talking sense to you now now all this comes under policy environmental policies a new born calf can yield half a liter of milk can you ever imagine these things how hormones and biotechnology can play havoc in ecological systems puridama puriliya ah nee telugu maatadu but you understand ah badu or right these are all biopolitics these are all biopolitics which happen based on money on one side people talk about soil fertility we talk about soil health man valam man nalam please understand the difference between the two in this difference or immediately people ask can organic farming produce enough food for everybody this is a question always raised government of india is now thinking of revising the policies i don't know when it will come can we think about resource management which is the other topic for you now in this resource management this is what is being accumulating the first step is waste reduction in waste management the first step should be waste reduction don't write first step as composting this and that first step is waste reduction this is your bengaluru belandur some people from karnataka will know about it fire in the lake smoke from the lake if that happens in bangalore 
this is the one noyal river coimbatore anyway the present practice is this what is going on which you can read it that's the present practice for us in waste management i don't know how we are going to control all this under swachh bharat or whatever it is right so can composting be one of them because this is also one more chapter for you <coughs> waste management that is aerobic air goes inside produces compost children if you want to know the difference between aerobic and anaerobic aerobic compost which takes in air gives out usually compost along with compost you get carbon dioxide you get water and heat whereas in anaerobic composting you get methane hydrogen sulfide and stink there's a basic difference between the two there's a reason why for anaerobic we prefer biogas plants with methanogenic bacteria methane generating methanogenic remember that way right genic is for generating methane generating methanogenic bacteria and then we got the term vermitech what is vermitech using technology using earthworms earthworms that's an earthworm that's an earthworm right three varieties of earthworms in the world the one on the surface of the soil one burrowing one deep living jake g e i c is derived from the term geo g e o geo means earth ap means above endo means inside anesic means intermediate intermediate these are the three varieties of earthworms our local worms <coughs> ap jake anesic endogeic this is how an earthworm works the food which enters the mouth these white structures are the gizzards which crush the food these are the hearts enters the stomach digestion takes place then enters the intestine <coughs> every segment has nephridia kidney like structures they pour urea inside so nitrogen plus carbon gets mixed up and what you get out is vermi casting which is very good for the soil very good for the soil earthworms are hermaphrodites but still they require a partner to mate there is a mating in earthworms and then they produce their cocoons and the young ones are born from the cocoon this way this is how a young earthworm is born young earthworm is born that's our local worm perunis excavatus this uh, is used in north india and in some european countries for composting this is used in south india for composting it's very simple what you require is a cake cowden cake and they start multiplying they start multiplying where do you get cowden cake amazon <laughs> again you have policy in economy this fellow buys for 40 paise from a farmer and sells it for 40 rupees a cake hmm. and that's why we compost that's why we compost so you can think about it anything can be done in waste management process if there's a question for you what you require is organic matter and you require a inoculum microbial inoculum and the cheapest best inoculum is cowdung cowdung is the best inoculum otherwise sar curd or anything and that's how the pile is prepared heat is generated and this heat is very important for me because it destroys unwanted pathogens unwanted pest unwanted seeds and after about 15 days or so we turn it over and now the pile comes down cool it give it to the worms the worms eat it produce vermi compost sieve it if necessary and that is your vermi compost that's all that is what is vermi compost yeah just to give you a break can you think of a number between 1 and 10 shall we see don't give me the answer shall we try just for the fun of it romba ee college bore adichirunu pottama ha 
multiply by 2 yes huh? add 8 yes divide by 2 yes now subtract the original number from it you will get a number if that number is 1 remember it as a if the number is 2 remember it as b if it is 3 it is c if it is 4 it is d if it is 5 e now testing your ias knowledge think of an european country whose name begins with that letter thought about it very good now think of a four legged animal from the last alphabet of that country's name. Four legged animal. Four legged animal. Now that animal's name will end in one alphabet. Think of a fruit which begins with that alphabet. Over. Week a geography number. How many of you got orange? Most of you should get orange. How many of you got kangaroo? I do not remember the kangaroo. Right? How many got Denmark? All got Denmark. How many of you got D? All of you should get D man. All of you get only 4. Nothing else will come in this. <laughs> everybody will get 4. Everybody will get T. There is only one country in Europe which starts with a D and that is Denmark. Most of us will think about kangaroo, some of you will think about koala bear or something like that. Koala or a bear, right? Most of us will think about kangaroo and the only fruit which comes to our mind with O is? That's all. Now this is how we do composting. This is how we do composting. Anything can be done. Anything can be done. Just, just to share with you some information on composting. Because some of you would be my indirect students somewhere or other. This is what is composting, different models, different designs, different ways. This is a Haryana at homes, how to do it at home, four tank systems, designing the tank systems, two tank systems. So industry can also go through, just for your information, industries can also do, this is for KCP Sugars Vayur, this is for Sundaram Clayton, Padi the motorcycle factory, this is for your Alpen Lebe sweets, this is for polyesters, this is for Exnora, this is for a private company, for Lactochem, all these designs when I created this design which is now used by the pollution control board, the PCB uses this design now because women folk work on it, I have made one side open so that women can walk in and uh, start working on it. These are the designs, these are the designs for composting. Why I am trying to show you this is, this was designed by my student for Godrich, uh, this is for my students for the MRC Naga, this is for UNIDO, I have been advising the UNIDO United Nations. Today you have the new tanks coming up online. I want you to understand that uh, Swachh Bharat, the books which are being released and used by the government of India actually have pictures from Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is one of the pioneering things which has implemented all this. Please remember that children. Please remember. All this, he, he is a very nice fellow. Mr. Kesavan is doing a wonderful job. This is at uh, Sri Lanka. This is for the Madhurandagam Sugar Factory and Department of Rural Development of Government of Tamil Nadu. So in case there is a possibility, you can visit them. You can visit them. You can have a look at it. All this is from the Department of Rural Development and Panchayat Raj. This is how we make the sheds, composting and then vermi composting over there. I am happy that temples have opened up their doors for me. So every village I can go talk to the people, make the people. But the beauty of this is, yeah, beauty of this is how these poor people interact with you. So once you become an officer, don't think that you are an officer. Please always remember you are a servant. Yeah. My full name is Sultan Ahmed Ismail and people call me SAI, Sai. So I used to tell them hold, hold a glass mirror in front of it, IAS automatically gets attached to it. So I don't need to do an IAS. I have produced IAS officers but I never wanted to be an IAS officer. That's the beauty. They came to know about my birthday which was going to come the next day and they had arranged for this program. That's the beauty of these rural people 
their love, their affection which works with me. I try to share more about my work later. But what I am worried is US. United States now has found out that India wants all this is functioning in India. But our politicians, how they get attracted? They want us, they had invited for the Disneyland, they want us to buy this machine, which will chop it up. Then buy this machine to sieve it. Then buy this machine to turn it over. If the size of this machine is not enough, you better buy the bigger machine. I use a sand mesh, they say use this mesh. After that, for mixing with other ingredients, one machine. And because it is cow dung, a farmer is not supposed to touch cow dung, so use a machine to spread it over there. Do we need all this? Remember that officers, please remember, you are an officer from today. This is how Walt Disney does its waste. It uses all the wood chips, uses the waste, loads it up on the top and then finally puts it into uh, electrical ovens because they don't have a good temperature. We have a good temperature here in India. In spite of it, when I came out, I saw vultures seated over there. Vultures. Vultures means that it is not composting, it is rotting. Only when it rots, vultures will come. So I asked this guy, your compost will stink. He said, yeah man. I said, what do you do? Very simple answer he gave. When the boss goes, we spray perfume. This is what happens with western technology which cannot be directly imported in our technology. Please understand the concepts over there. Now people want to buy this. Compost in 24 hours. Compost in 24 hours. Now, Pune Municipal Corporation called up and asked me whether they can buy this. I, I just told them, ask that fellow whether he was born in 10 months or 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You cannot produce compost in 24 hours. You can only volume reduce it. Remember, all this will be coming to you shortly because they are all promoted now by business agencies. If you really want to have something which converts, this is the best thing. Who? Oh, this chap. Give it to him, he will give you dung. That can easily be composted. Right? Trustworthy. Understand the concepts when you write ecology. Please understand the concepts when you write ecology. When I walk in the rain and I hold an umbrella, where will the water fall? On my head or around me? I don't have an umbrella. There is a well-grown tree. I stand under the shade of the tree. A few drops may fall on my head but mostly falls around the tree. Why? Because the roots that drink are there. The roots that drink are there near the canopy. And what we do is we feed here. So we should feed it at the canopy, at the canopy. So bringing up changes after changes, making these changes, making to reaching to rural people, creating these sort of simple designs, making them independent to grow their own home nutrition gardens. We started making these foliar sprays. In waste management, don't write everything to be composted. In foliar sprays, we can prepare a lot of varieties. This was the first drum of vermi wash I prepared in 1982. I started teaching in 1974. I started my research in 1978. So during 80s, we prepared this drum. This costed me 200 rupees. Farmers came and said, Yarnu Rubawa, because in those days it was big money. Ambadruva. One farmer said, Ambadruva, Patruva. It is a container is not important. Content is important. So when you start moving in those directions, Natarajan came with Panjagavya. Please remember all this. All the waste can be reused as wonderful fertilizers in our country. That's a combination. All these details are in my in my website. I'll give it to you finally. All my website, everything is free for download. So don't worry about it. That's the Natarajan. All, all, I'm not talking about a passion, I'm talking about scientific reviews. My, P, my students, their PhD work, their doctoral thesis, everything has been proved. We have worked at till the chromosome level of plants and the molecular structures of plants. Everything has been worked out. This is an alternative to EM. Effective microorganism is sold in the market, 1500 rupees a litre. A farmer can prepare on his own. Fish waste can be converted, egg lime formulations can be made, eggshells along with vinegar can bubble up and give you enough nutrients. All this has been worked out, so lots of things. Look at this farmer, I told him to use the gunny sack. He says, Wonga idea useless sir. 
he uses a drum with a hole and fertilizers. That is his IPR. What is IPR? Intellectual? Yeah, that is his IPR. Today lots of things have come children. So, these are the soil rejuvenators which the ZBNF recommends. Zero budget natural farming. For seed treatment we use termite soil. All this remember. Who is the greatest scientist on the farm? Yaar. Earthworm. Apron. I will introduce you to a professor. Very knowledgeable professor. Professor Goat. Excellent animal. Identify these things when you write about ecology. Excellent animal because this animal, you take him for a walk. Let him eat what he wants to. What a goat does not eat has plant uh, pest repellent properties. Whatever a goat does not eat has pest repellent properties. So if it says uhu, you take the leaf. Crush it. Soak it. Use it. It's a pest repellent. That's why you call this plant Ada Toda. The name comes from Aadu Thodadadu. That's the origin of the term, Aadu Thodadadu. In those days, they always used to keep names of animals based on their function. We have a sea snake in here, in our Bay of Bengal, Kadal Pambu. This sea snake is called as Enhydrina Valakadin. Now, how did it get the name Valakadin? Because the fishermen called it as Valai Kadiyan. Valai Kadiyan. It, it bites the net. So it is Valakadin, right? Unfortunately, I read a paper last week. Some idiot professor has named one insect after Sachin Tendulkar. I don't know whether it bats or bowls, but <laughs> he named it after it. That's the problem. Now, these sort of plants are used. They are all excellent plants. So once we use them, we teach them, we get friendly insects coming up, friendly animals coming up which control and James Bond also coming. Now this is called as, this used to be called as IPM, please note down that term, IPM, Integrated Pest Management, Integrated Pest Management, it used to be called as IPM, now it is called as EPM, Ecological Pest Management, Ecological Pest Management, it is called as Ecological Pest Management. So if I use this, then what happens is, friendly insects come in, now this is a ladybird. And when you get aphids, the small white insects which also come in your home terrace garden, it goes and catches and eats them. That's why it's called as ecological pest management. You invite friendly insects. If you go to Pasme Vigran, our good friend Selvam has been writing continuous series of articles about it now. Right? Terrace gardens for nutrient, nutrition, solving problems of nutrition deficiency in Indian context. You can have terrace garden anywhere from 3 feet from the boundary wall or 3 feet across the beams. You can use poles, you can use anything. You can use cocoa pit along with soil. I grow palak in the small baskets. How much of soil is required to grow pudina? 4 inches better. 4 inches of soil is enough to grow pudina, mint. We have all wrong concepts which have been popularized. So when you write ecology on nutrition management, on how you could make independent, people independent, even for growing your methi, you can grow it in Kotanguchi. Coconut shells, you can grow kirai at home. You don't require more than that. This I deliberately do to attract children. I create them. My house is full of them. Yeah. How much water is required for a plant? Mm -hmm. Water management. Forum. It has two meanings in it, right? If I come to your house and ask water for drinking, what will you give me in? A glass. If I want to have a bath, probably a bucket. If I, if I say I want to commit suicide, you will show me a pool. Right? So if one glass is enough for an individual, what you require is soil moisture, not soil water. So when you write ecology, please talk about soil moisture. <coughs> and especially when I use urea or salts, it takes in more water. Whereas compost retains water. We have done a lot of work on it. These are all some of the data I wanted to share. Coming to water children, 
our grandfather's well. This is our well. This is when you people become grandparents. This is what is going to be. Fine. <coughs> Punjab. I was advising the Punjab Water and Sanitation Board. Now this Punjab Water Sanitation Board, the problem over there, I don't believe a government plan. So please understand this word, PRA, note down, it's part of ecology for you. Participatory Rural Appraisal. Participatory Rural Appraisal. Now what is PRA? PRA, I don't follow the government plan. So what I do? I invite the villagers to put the plan. So villagers with the help of all the Kolamau, they put the roads. And after they put the roads of the village, they say, this is my house, that is your house. After this is done, I ask the department engineer to draw that plan. And then we work. And then we work. It's realistic. It is realistic situation at that point of time. Is that clear to you all? So remember PRA, Participatory Rural Appraisal for Ecology. That's PRA. Punjab mein pani chahiye. So what is our situation? Right? Empty wells. <coughs> we are sucking out water. Solutions. Rainwater harvesting is one solution for you. In your eco ecology paper. The other one, at home, most water is being used in the laundry, washing machine and bathroom where we have our bath. The only contaminant which comes from here, almost 60 to 65 percent of water which comes out from the home is contaminated only with soap. Only with soap. Can I remove this soap? These plants can remove soap. You can remo re remember their names. <coughs> These plants can remove soap. Now what we do is we construct this sort of a tanks. This is called as constructed wetland. Please write it down. You can treat water with the help of constructed wetlands. Constructed wetlands. It is also called as DWATs, Decentralized Wastewater Treatment Systems. Decentralized Wastewater Treatment Systems. We make this sort of a tanks. Baffles are kept inside. Fill up with the stones. Grow plants in them. Canna is a very good plan. Canna Tamil Kalwade. Kalwade. Right? This is how it looks. And this is how it works. You get the washing machine water with soap. Water passes through the baffles. And you get clean water coming out from here, which can be used for flushing the toilets, which can be used for recharging the groundwater, which can be used for gardens, because PO4 gets converted to P2O5. P2O5 is available phosphate, which is a nutrient for the plants, right? There are similar type of systems, similar type of systems for your waste management again for building waste. Building waste can be crushed, mixed with cement. <coughs> crushed building debris waste. Debris, D-E-B-R-I-S. Debris waste. And then this lady is keeping it on a rubber sheet. There's a rubber sheet at the base. <coughs> These are the pegs. P-E-G-S. One peg on here, one peg over there. <coughs> Remove the sheet, keep it on the mold. Tiles can be made. Tiles can be made from debris waste. House tiles. Similarly, all the waste cotton cloth and waste papers can be completely be soaked in water and crushed into a pulp. Even a Italy grinder can do it, Mixi can do it. 
and this pulp you take it put it in water spread it uniformly lift the sieve gradually jalada Does the plate taken out? Keep it on a cotton cloth. Press it hard. See how he presses. Yeah. Simple technology. And that is your recycled paper, handmade paper. sprinkle some beetroot juice or carrot juice it is organically dyed handmade paper you put some petals on it it's a greeting card that's all the problem new challenges in waste management is medical waste new challenges in waste management are this tablets antibiotics entering the stream hormones entering the stream sanitary napkins yes there are several changes brought in but today diapers have increased which we are not doing anything now especially adult diapers because parkinson's is increasing geriatric maintenance is increasing third important thing is electronic waste which is still under adolescence you require changes in this policy change maintenance change biofuel which was called as biodiesel at one point of time the problem is the world says why not we make from corn i am against corn because you can't use somebody's food for making petrol right jatropha mr professor apj abdul kalam was in favor of jatropha but i feel pongeme is quite good enough pongeme is more common pungamaram karanj is very common gives you enough quality of diesel gobar gas alternatives yeah very important gobar gas this was a mistake we did by calling it as gobar gas because we related we can make only from gobar but we can make from any organic matter so now it is called as biogas any biomass any biomass can give us gas sodic soil is increasing in our country sodic soil please remember sodic soil s o d i c and saline soils <coughs> this is how it looks sodic soil this is in lucknow mohan area where we were able to work with worms and we were able to recover that soil in four and a half years into this soil it is possible it is possible to convert this soil into this soil it's called as bioremediation with local technologies not much investment cost that is why now as uh, he was pointing out uh, mr nandakuma inner mongolia china is full of this soil and they have invited to redo it but i appreciate them than on my own system i appreciate them because right across the table is the governor right across the table he says stay back here we will pay what you want i said i am going back to my country now the thing is they take independent decisions we are unable to we are unable to dung is a very important source of information for the soil when you walk on the soil if you so look at the dung if the dung breaks into pieces that means the soil is good if it dries into a patty that means the soil is devoid of microorganisms and water so all very simple things he is bernard some of you who who may be following namarwar right now he he would always say that bernard was my guru now that's bernard's farm bernard and deepika in oroville this pebble gardens pebbles they were able to convert and this is their garden today anything can be converted please remember that anything can be converted this is kurukshetra i was a advisor for the krishna uh, home at uh, kurukshetra now here <coughs> they had plenty of money so we design big things for them but for a farmer what we do is we design two tanks waste management again waste into money waste into wealth 
this is borewell water <coughs> this water is from the cattle shed cattle shed will be washed twice a day they will remove the dung but they will wash it twice a day so what we do we collect all the water from the cattle shed <coughs> into these sumps and then we switch on both the motors that is borewell water this is cattle shed water you get the foam because of the cow's urine 90% borewell water 10% cattle shed water soil becomes all right soil becomes all right patents are increasing be careful with patents probiotics everybody is trying to commercialize on probiotics in ecology remember this term probiotics probiotics <coughs> doctors recommend because the moment you put it in the mouth in the stomach it survives in the duodenum it germinates in the intestine it flourishes fixes vitamins for us probiotics <coughs> but the best probiotic for our country was pajesor 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 is uh, cooked food soaked in water which we grew up with now this cooked food soaked in water along with curd gives me all the probiotics and all the antioxidants today it's being sold in hotels along with masala vada and if you don't want masala vada they give you netli karwad yeah nutri genomics please remember this term <coughs> nutrition based on your genetic makeup nutrition based on your genetic makeup today when you go to a restaurant you ask for the menu card when you will be my age and go to the restaurant they will ask you your card they will scan and tell you these are the food you are supposed to eat because your genes ask us to eat only that much so that's going to be nutri genomics now it's a food which is genetic nutrition or designer food this is nutri genomics in the same way they want to make medicines which will be pharmacogenomics <coughs> pharmacogenomics pharmacy is medicine i hope uh, we are aware of it right pharmacy based on genetic makeup is pharmacogenomics so diet for the future well if you ask me i know the answer and uh, that is i don't know the problem is you 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 know the story of the fox the which wanted to take the grapes did get the grapes no today's fox will get the grapes how did the crow get the water from the pot pitcher stones today you will use a straw and this is how the tortoise will win the race but can we compromise i leave it to you coming to soil what is soil what is soil 2015 was declared as yeah year of the soils the soil have an age manuk vai sunna illa sutama kade rock has age soil is formed every day just like this machine do you remember this article yeah fine imagine this to be the rock and this has the weathering process right the same way soil is formed every day rock has an age soil keeps growing just like air and water books say that soil is mineral matter soil is non living i want to give you some different concepts because i wrote a book in tamil recently on man makkal mahasul about this in that you will find soil because when i tell soil is a living organism people ask me whether soil has a digestive system does soil have a digestive system when a dog is found dead on the surface of the soil 2 3 days you go that side it stinks but if you dig a pit put it bury it do you get the smell why what happens inside who is decomposing microorganisms who is there in your intestine microorganisms so logically soil has then people say whether it has a respiratory system just like we take in oxygen give out carbon dioxide soil also takes in oxygen gives out carbon dioxide soil has a respiratory system 
does it have a circulatory system now for example in case imagine that you have hurt your toe doctor gives a tablet <coughs> will you feed the tablet to the toe or will you put in the mouth put in the mouth then how does the medicine go to your toe blood blood circulatory system right at home you have a flower pot do you pluck the plant every day and feed the root no right <coughs> because soil has circulatory system through which it reaches then people ask me whether it has an excretory system just like i showed you the sodic soils and the saline soils just like we go to the toilet to throw away the salts soil brings the salts and throws it out, out up so soil has a excretory system then they ask me whether it has a reproductive system just like your uh, test tube baby after fertilization it has to be planted in the uterus of a mother one then it grows so your tissue culture plant should be planted in the soil one then it will grow so soil logically has a reproductive then it occurred to me whether soil has a brain now that was very important for me because i was very poor in mathematics and my school teacher always used to say on talela enna irukke mann irukku nu soltaru if i happen to meet him today i will tell him thank you for the compliment because to me soil has a brain you dig a pit and put biomass it will decompose you put a seed it will germinate soil knows what to decompose and what to germinate so soil logically has a brain now this living soil unfortunately our farmers are facing a problem this again in your own system in your ecological books <coughs> the rates msp please remember our msp and get some more information about it minimum support price of crops today's times of india carries an article about the recent trend in msp you can go through it after the class today's times of india <coughs> the uh, national commission is ms swaminathan commission has been requesting for c2 the government has still not implemented c2 there's a fight which is going on no c2 now what is all this that is happening if all these tomato farmers of chatisgarh throwing the way in the streets because production has increased prices fallen down this is what happens this just is just i'm telling you so that you understand when you read those papers the farmer is there the msp is fixed at 25 rupees a kilo market price is 15 rupees a kilo the farmer is very happy because he has spent 20 rupees a kilo he gives it to the government unfortunately most of the time it happens to be reverse the market price is 25 he has already taken money from the government at 15 rupees a kilo this is where the government revises and calls it as procurement price but that is not matching with the market price is it understandable children with this background go through the paper today ecotones please understand about ecotones these are transition zones between two ecosystems between a grassland and a forest between a river and the river and the sea river and the sea river and the sea estuary estuary this is one example of an ecotone the best best plants of estuary are the mangroves please note down mangroves and keep it with you which is the best mangrove sanctuary in tamil nadu pichavaram remember that remember that pichavaram vaizak has very good popular mangroves but the best mangroves are in sundarbans about pollution our own neighborhood tangentco now what is the difference between lentic and lotic lotic is what is low tech low tech floats lentic is stagnant lentic is stagnant <coughs> succession one more important concept for you i will not go into the details just understand the concept just understand the concept this boy comes from school this child comes from school puts a chair and sits over there so who put the chair this child put the chair there was no chair before so it created an environment akka comes from college looks at him hello fellow you cannot relax get up from there 
and she adds a pillow to it. Dad comes from office, looks at the ready-made pillow and the chair, stretches himself and adds a footrest to it. Tata comes home where he can take the ready-made thing. This is what is succession. Initial primary vegetation is one which comes, settles down and creates an environment for other plants to come and settle down, other animals to come and settle down. That's succession in life. So children, just a few carry home messages for you. Challenge yourself, please. Please challenge yourself. Does anybody teach this goat to go and achieve something? Can't you achieve? See, whether you pass, whether you get is different. Whether I can function, I can be somebody in this world is different. Is that clear? So you challenge yourself because information is flowing like anything today. Time is moving. If you don't improve your knowledge, you will stagnate. Improve your knowledge. Continue with it. Knowledge is useless unless you learn to connect it. Learn to connect and go for creativity in your knowledge. Go for creativity. You may say this fellow is talking because he is successful. Not so. Not so at all. Every one of us, your parents or I, we have gone through enough problems before we became successful. It's very difficult in this world. What is it? Egg. If you break from the top, I am killing a life. When it breaks from inside, it creates a life. Clear? Breaks from inside, creates a life. Your head is that egg. You want somebody to come and knock on it? Or would you like to blossom from inside? Blossom. Blossom. Concentrate. Be creative. Be creative in your answers. That is what makes a difference. What is creativity? Aya does this. Amma doesn't like. So one crash. Should he cry? No. Convert into a tabla. Yeah. That is creativity. That is creativity. In my country, all this is going on today. Inappropriate policies and technologies. So please see to it. Our global hunger index is increasing. This is the recent one, 2019. We are one not two in 117 nations. Children are hungry. So don't waste food. Please, children, don't waste food. That's important for me. Most of you people are this, belong to this group. Most of you people. Today, because most of us are overfed but undernourished. These are take-home messages to you. So simple food habit is follow our national flag. The first color on the top. See to it that you include some food of that color every day. Let it be carrot, let it be papaya, let it be pumpkin, let it be orange, let it be mango. Provides you with carotene. We don't want America's golden rice. Second color, white. Every home has women at home. And women, especially during your cycles, you require vitamin K to function. And vitamin K can be functional only in the presence of calcium. So please see to it that you take some quantity of milk. And if you are a vegan, take a substitute for it. The third color is green. Take green colored vegetables. Unfortunately, when I go to Delhi for the meetings, I go to a vegetarian restaurant, I ask him, Ke bhai, aaj kya sabzi hai? And that idiot tells me, sir, paneer hai sab. I don't know when paneer became a vegetable. <laughs> sabzi nahi ho, right? The chakra is blue in color. Right from childhood, we have been painting water as blue. Take enough quantity of water. How many lines in the chakra? 24 hours follow our national flag. We don't require any damn food from any part of the world. That is what my national flag tells me. So follow the national flag. Have healthy food. That's the school where I did my primary education. I'm proud of my school because every year now I go, take a class over there. I enjoy going to my school. Our food alone is our way. And you thought that these two will solve your problem? Even the birds eating there become like this, ma. You eat it, continue to eat, you become like that. I'm not against any food. Once in a way, have it. We are all youngsters. We are all friends. Once in a way, you can have it. Don't make it as a habit. Because after the swiggy and all those things, you just call up, get it, and you eat without thinking what's happening to you. Once in a way, you go out with friends, you enjoy it. Fair enough. Don't make it as a habit. This rava with salt is called as? With sugar? The powder which is available today in the market is not Kesar. It is a chemical called as LO5 which causes cancer. So what you are cooking is not Kesari but Kansari. So try to use alternatives. Please try to use alternatives. All these colors, this symbol is from the Consumer Association of Malaysia. I have been advising them for the past 22 years. 
it's easy for me to work in other countries because the moment you work here, you will be called an anti-national. Right? Yeah. This is that red colored chicken pakoda and the red colored uh, gobi pakoda. These two alone you can eat. These two fast food alone you can eat. If you have decided to go up fast, eat it. <laughs> eat it. Such a nasty color. Please be a, yeah. Orange is this color. Right? Then why is Mirinda red in color? Please understand children what is happening. We used to eat this, today this is replaced. This acid content, pH is 2.2. Once in a way, friends, you have a small glass, I am not against it. But some, don't take water at all, all foreigners. Right? That's why it cleans the toilet clean, because it is acid. Most of these colors are causing ADHD in children. Attention deficit hyperactive disorder. You know what it is. And how much of color is there loaded up in this, you can see it for yourself. So next time at home, if you have kids or knees or anybody, don't carry it with you for them. Look at the amount of color that can come out. And all the uriche button in the market, you enjoy it. Okay? Every vegetarian shop will tell you, paneer matter. Be careful. Be careful. Most of it comes colored. Strawberry is not from my uh, state. So most of the strawberry which is available here is only flavor and color. Almost every sweet shop sells with silver foil. This is not my slide. This is from the government of India, ITRC Lucknow. According to ITRC Lucknow, most of the shops which sell is not silver. It's a combination of five heavy metals. Kidney gone. And all you chaps seated over here, when you go to see your punna, this is the first sweet they will give you. Bread, bread if you store will get fungus, it is good bread. They want to introduce bread with azodicarbonamide, it is yet to come in the market. But please remember when you grow up and you go to the shop, if there is E927 in the bread, avoid it. E927 is a plasticizer, avoid it. Because everything is going to come with numbers now. All ecological products, food products are going to be labeled by numbers. They will not be described. Thalates, be careful. Be careful. Endocrine disruption. Monosodium glutamate. All your uh, Kayendi bhavans and uh, fried rice. Many, many of the shops, some have learned not to use it. And if they have it, you can tell them not to add it. MSG, Ajinomoto. Be careful. It can affect your kidney. Including this. Boys are happy, they need to pay for it, right? <laughs> including this. Yes, be careful what is the market. And Shah Rukh Khan tells you boys, buy fair and handsome, one day you will get bleached out. Be careful, be careful. Understand commercial, this is what we used when I was a kid. Today he says, do you have salt, do you have charcoal? <laughs> right? So what is the easiest way of eating healthy? Don't eat what is advertised in the TV. You will be healthy. Plastics, please be very careful children. Please tell your friends there are seven types of plastic today in the world. Six used to be there. Now seventh is any other plastic. In any other plastic, bisphenol A can be there. BPA. Feeding bottles come with plastic number seven. This is all is ecology, not what is in your book. <laughs> BPA. BPA free should be declared. This is how it should be numbered. With a triangle with the number inside. You all have plastic bottles, check up what they are, right? Check up what they are, this is important. This is Delhi. Delhi is our capital, so they can do whatever they want. There is a triangle without the number inside. Foreign countries, they declare it for children, BPA free. Feeding bottles in India, some of them are declaring, some yet to declare. So see to it that you are careful when you buy them. These thermocol products are meant for ice creams and bread. If you keep anything hot, it will leach out. Sterine will come out. So what you eat is cancer. Microplastics, nanotechnology. Please, my request to all the women folk, if you want to buy shampoos, please avoid shampoo with microplastics. Microplastics, they will advertise, is good for your skin. You can scrub it, including the boys. Not necessary. 
this is contaminating to a large extent, it has already entered into our bottled waters. You are drinking plastic today. Microplastic is in salt and now recently also in fish. It's also in fish, yeah. So be careful and tell your parents, mothers at home to give you good food, cereals, that is Dani Angal in the night and not watch this and spoil your family. Yeah. The wheat took manjal pusu earlier. We used to put turmeric because insects should not come. Today we use yellow paint, so everything comes inside. We used to put kolam to feed our insects, our animals. Today we do rangoli. And at home we used to have thornam with mango leaves because phenolic compounds chase them away. Remember why we use them. Today we use plastic. Right? Mango leaves available? Not available. They are available in Amazon. 25 leaves, 5509 rupees. EMI available. Now I hope you know what is happening with our ecology and economy. Right? Please understand children, please understand. So what is the best word for environment? Management. Without the last letter T, manage human beings. Without the last letter N, what is it? That's what I want you people to do. If you can manage yourself, you can manage others. That is management. You don't require an MBA to understand this. Right? Do it. Eco-friendly technologies give us freedom. Modern technologies we have to subjudicate. Land is being reclassified. I was heading the team of the High Court Committee to understand the lands of Kanagi Nagar. I had the shock of my life. Shock of my life because I know wetland. I have been teaching ecology since 74. I know what is wetland. I know what is wasteland. Sadhupinilam, Tarisalalam. And these idiots have reclassified that land as waste wetland. I told them that this classification doesn't exist in the world. Tarisal Sadhupinilam. How can a Sadhupinilam become Tarisalalam? This is how lands are being made, this is how buildings are constructed and this is what happens during the rains. This all comes under ecological planning, ecological policies. So you move from professional engineer, become a societal engineer. Do something for society, plan your process, put your engineering designs, move forward, update knowledge children, update knowledge and read beyond the books. Books don't give everything, read beyond the books, only then you get the freedom. Read other books, read other concepts, grow up in life, prepare your milestones, work hard. Unfortunately, in my own group, we have created so many problems. Some call it as permaculture, some call it as biodynamic, some sustainable, some natural, some organic. But we are all working only towards non-chemical, non-poisonous farming. Let us try to do good whatever way. Can we move from crop-centric to farmer-centric agriculture where the farmer is given importance? Can we have those plannings in ecology? But if you have to work on all this, what should you have? Because today, even if you walk quietly, there is somebody ready to push you down. Yeah. So let us walk and work as a team, children. Work as a team. Do you find the letter I in the team? It is there. See carefully. I is there. But should not be visible outside. Should not be visible outside. If after winning, somebody says, it is my idea, give him a dharmadi. Yeah. Otherwise, one will do it, the other one will repeat the same thing again. So, let us see to it that we work on it. And please, for God's sake, don't compare yourself with others. You are the best. Don't compare with anybody in this life. Un, un, it's not necessary at all. The world is burning. So, let us cool it down. And uh, people spoke about global warming. I work with global warming. So, shall we reworm the world? Because when it rains, there is no space for the soils for the water to go in. Once we get back our worms, we have enough solutions for water. We can harvest water. That was the term, Vermitech. And this term was coined by me for the world. I had coined the term Vermitech for the world. That is my research for the country. <laughs> the entire thing which you studied is 10 standard books. Everything was done. That was the day for me when the Tamil Nadu government service examinations asked who coined the term Sultan Ismail or MS Swaminathan. Uh, that's the day. That's the day. And these are the government books now.
2019, the new books which have been provided by the government, thanks to the government and the people who have written it, Namalwar and I have been quoted in the book. That's a great achievement. In fact, Namalwar I had introduced without my knowledge. I had so that is a reward. Awards are useless. Rewards are more important. So children, you have a potential. You have all the openings. You have all the resources. You are trying for something. You get it or you don't get it. It's okay. But still you can function. Is that clear? Work hard. What comes to you is the best. What comes to you is the best. Because I am worried only about one thing. When it rains, the water falls in the soil. Whom does this water belong to? Whom does the water belong to? Soil. But if you keep a pot from your house and collect water in the pot, whom does that water belong to? To you. But I gave you that pot. You have no other pot. Now whom does that water belong to? I gave you only the pot. But you collected the water. But you have no other pot. It belongs to me. Right? Please understand when you become officers, please understand our farmers, my farmer, his field, his labor, his work. Multinational companies want to give a few pennies to them and want to say that everything belongs to them. Please work out for the sake of farmers, our own countrymen. Have you seen a porter? Have you seen a porter in the railway station? What does he carry? Weight. Luggage is weight. Am I right? He carries weight. What does the weightlifter carry? He also carries weight. But when the weight increases, for the porter it is a burden, for the weightlifter it is a challenge. When you face your examinations, the problems you will face is that weight. It's up to you to decide whether you want to be a porter in life or a weightlifter in life. What would you like to be? You decide. You decide. Put in efforts and you can grow. This is a simple book we have brought in. In case you have you are juniors in schools, I happen to work with him on this. And uh, this is available, has 100 science experiments which they can use. I love Tagore's statement. With every child that is born comes a message that God is not yet disappointed with man. So let us leave behind a healthy environment for all of them, all for earth's sake. That's our eye view, but who cares? Thank you very much and good luck to you all.